hi folks so those skiing dudes that we saw when I was on the uh, what's name this is where they're based at I like the little uh, what's name it makes it look slightly tropical somewhere it's like in the West Indies or somewhere or somewhere I don't know and then you got this little sand pit here so I like kind of I guess it adds to the sort of sense of it it's pretty cool actually <laughs> makes me think it's some sort of tropical uh, place uh, anyway yeah, I'm sure it was a bit more like that when uh, I say, oh look, there's the gondolas. Look. Yay. So, yeah. Uh, okay, folks. So, I think for now, uh, I'm going to leave it there. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Um, just trying to work out which way we're supposed to go here, actually. I don't, can we go that way? I have no idea if you can go. I've never been because essentially we want to go to uh, what's its face. Uh, so I don't know if we have to walk all the way around. Or can we go through there? I don't know. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's a road. So I presume we can go through this way. So I'm going to head to Canary Wharf. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay. So for now, I'm going to leave it there, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Hi folks, so you will see a ton of b-roll from along this bridge, sorry about the wind by the way, again, so I've just walked across this bridge here uh, and you're going to see a ton of b-roll uh, shortly, uh, so we're heading there, HSBC right in front of us, uh, so that's Canary Wharf, I was just looking at this grey building here, that looks really, it looks like a really cool building but it kind of looks slightly ominous like it's some sort of government agency building <laughs> oh, there's my imagination for you uh, that's kind of what it looks like though it kind of looks like some sort of government official looking building like I don't know what does that house that looks really interesting it's a really interesting looking building I tell you I don't know what it is but that big grey one anyway that silvery grey thing there with all the grey tiles and stuff it's intriguing I wonder what it is right we're gonna go past it anyway so right catch you guys later bye for now oh hang on <laughs> I just wanted to capture the uh, DLR going across that was a pretty cool shot bye for now so like I said folks this looks like a very interesting sort of sciencey or I'm saying science now because I've noticed on the side and again apologies for any possible wind noise uh, 
Uh, it's a bit of a pain at the minute. Uh, I just hope it doesn't sound too bad. Um, anyway, I'll tell you one thing, London man, London is, it's like, I was just thinking this earlier on, uh, I think to myself, you know, uh, it's like that guy said, whose name escapes me, that house we went, that historic house, uh, not the, oh that's cool, oh I love that black building there, and the way they've used the different tones, that's really cool actually, the way that little white, uh, and then it, oh that's pretty cool man, oh I like that, I like that, yeah so anyway, sorry, back to this building for a second, and I'll get back to the other thing in a minute, look, it's got a computer uh, on and off switch, uh, symbol on the side. That's what you get on your computer. My computer has got that exact same sort of logo where my on and off button is of my computer. So I wonder if it's some sort of hang on. There's a sign over there, but I can't read it from here. Uh, but I bet it's something to do with computers, obviously. So sort of maybe telecommunications or something. But look, that's a, that's the on and off switch that you get. In fact, you get that on lots of devices these days. Sorry, folks. Tons of what's that? I picked the wrong spot here to start a vlog. Essentially, what with the wind and traffic noise. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I bet it's horrendous. I can't. Well, I say I can't wait to play it back. I don't mean because I'm looking forward to playing it back. I can't wait to see what you know, just how bad it is. That's uh, why maybe I'm shouting at the moment. Trying to be heard above all this. There. Great, right, I thought there was a way through here, there isn't. Oh, I'm flipping out. I've taken myself the wrong... Uh, flipping it. Right, hang on, folks. Um, that's the black wall tunnel behind me, by the way. Uh, I don't think I can get back over on this side now until I walk all the way down here. So I'm going to have to come back to this because uh, I definitely want to check this out. And that looks amazing. I love what they've done with that. The tones, use those tones. That is so cool. I love it. Right. Uh, yeah. So that is definitely an on and off switch for a, a computer, essentially. So it must be something to do with that. Uh, right. I don't know why I came this way. Uh, but then again, I've never been down here before, so I wouldn't really know. Right. If I'm shouting, apologies. I don't know how bad the noise, both wind and traffic is on this right now. Uh, I'm going to try and get over here if I can. Uh, right, so for the time being, I'm going to leave it there. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, folks, I don't know if you can hear me or not over the wind and traffic, but I just wanted to show you that. If you're wondering what that is, that's the ventilation for the underground. That's ventilation for the tube system. Weird looking thing, isn't it? But that's what it is. It's uh, ventilation for the tube. Fascinating. Okay, folks. Uh, I think we're going to give that building a miss. Because I'm not going to walk all the way back now. Because this is a long route and I can't get over that other side. Uh, without having to walk all the way around oh flipping heck great yes yeah, so this last little bit has been a bit frustrating uh, with noise wind and not being able to go to you see these are the parts of the city that I would not like to live in because these I consider to be the most dehumanizing most horrible parts you could ever wish to live in it's just concrete and stone noise and fumes you know what I mean what human being wants to live in this do you know what I mean I mean flipping heck man as much as I love new structures and concrete and the shapes and the rest of it and all the rest you know what I mean it's like Oh, for crying out loud. I don't believe this. Sorry, folks. You see, I'm getting frustrated now because this thing's just... I don't know what... It's getting worse, man. He didn't do that before. Why is it doing that now? Oh, great. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, 
Yeah, you see, it's also like I said to you before about how an environment impacts on you. Uh, you know, obviously I'm tired, been walking quite a bit. That's fine though, I don't really mind that, I really don't. Do you know what I mean? When I haven't got time pressure on me, and I can just take my time, do whatever, that's absolutely fine. But it's, it's the environment that I'm now in. Uh, you know, it, it, it kind of agitates me, you know? Uh, so, okay folks. So I'm gonna try and never get myself over to Canary Wharf itself. So for now, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, that building, by the way, is way back that way. Uh, and I don't wanna double back on myself. Because uh, I was going to have a little look at it because it looked intriguing and interesting. Uh, so, but for now, I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, folks, finally made it. Bit of a convoluted journey, but we got here in the end. Uh, oh, for the neck. I am seriously tired now. Oh my. And the city is right in front of us, by the way. There's the city down there. There you are, let me just uh, give me a second here. Uh, right, fine. Okay, so anyway, yep. There is the city. There's the Gherkin. Uh, see me. There we go. Uh, there it is. That's the Gherkin there. So, yep. So the city is all the way down there. Ah, oh boy. Right, so. Okay, folks. Oh, well, my feet's hurting me now. Oh, well, particularly my left foot, anyway. It's like I've got a blister there somewhere. It's actually really hurting. Uh, and that, actually, oh, great. Here we go with the wind. Oh, for crying out loud, man. This is really starting to pee me off, actually. I'm trying my best. Flipping get lost wind. Flipping heck, man! Oh, crying out loud! Right, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, folks. So that's a rather interesting uh, statue. Uh, it's quite look quite cool actually when I look in the screen just there. And you got this fountain behind it. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, oh, I am exhausted now, folks. I am seriously exhausted. Uh, right, I'm going to head to the tube station, I reckon. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, I am seriously tired. Okay, folks. So, ah, oh, boy. Uh, Uh, so you can tell I'm tired because uh, the conversation is winding down uh, and my foot uh, that was what I was trying to say just before before the wind stopped play uh, yeah look I was trying to sell you guys uh, I bought a new pair of shoes yay New shoes, uh, yeah, uh, 30 quid, not bad, uh, they're fairly comfy but as all new shoes they take a while to break in, uh, so at the moment my feet are rather sore, at least my left one particularly, although my right one's not much better at the minute but uh, it's all the walking I've been doing you see, but uh, literally bought them on Friday, uh, is that? Uh, oh yeah, I think it's Friday. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, coming back from work. I bought them from coming back from work. Uh, yeah, so uh, obviously they're getting a getting a well broken in today. Uh, right, folks. I've got, I think I'm going to have to hit a hole. As usual, no idea if this is the last vlog or not. But I've got to, got to head home. I am super tired. I've got a ton of footage that's going to last me a month. An exaggeration, I know. Uh, but anyway, so for now, I'm going to leave it there. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.
Okay folks, so we started on the tube. We started this journey on the Victoria Line this morning. Uh, literally, um, whatever time it was, um, We can't even make a train that, at least inside, doesn't sound like the inside of a flipping. Now I can't find an analogy. Tornado? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. And the inside of something, anyway. The inside of a turbine engine. I don't know. Something. Oh boy. Oh, you see, that's another thing with me. When I get tired. As I've said many times before, I tend to get cranky. Why are we still sitting here? Normally, we'd be going by now. Sorry, folks. Oh, apologies, apologies. I am so, so tired. Really, seriously. Uh, and it's funny because, like, there seems to be different types of tiredness. Uh, Honestly, I've experienced that. There's like different types of it, uh, and this is the type of tiredness where it's like you feel more like in pain, tired, rather than just like a general sort of. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay, folks. So, I'm in my shop, well, keep saying that, my shop, uh, my shop in Brixton, uh, so I'm back home, I'm in Brixton, uh, and I decided to come in, uh, I didn't get it free today, so, but that's fine, it doesn't matter, and like, you know, the thing is that uh, I didn't even bother using my gold card either, I could have done, but whatever, blah, 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 that's not really important, uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, so just to do like a little comparison between the Costa's coffee and our coffee. Like I said, this is a latte. It's a slightly smaller cup, I grant you. So it's a, but we have a standard size anyway. So it's just the standard uh, what's in the size, and then we got the flat whites, which are a little bit smaller. Do you know what I mean for flat white? But anyway, uh, so like you know. But the thing is, this is I like this coffee. I really do. Um, and the thing about it is like I said it is strong it's a nice strong coffee but it's not to the point where it's kind of like it turns you off when you kind of like think it you know, or whatever sort of thing but like with the Costas one uh, it is much more chocolatey milky kind of taste to it at least in terms of the lattes definitely um, but this has got a nice it's got a nice little bite to it, do you know what I mean? It's got a nice little what's name like, you know, so it's pretty good. Uh, and so just wanted to do a little 
sort of uh, comparison thing just to explain to you guys why I've actually grown to like this coffee and this like say you have this coffee uh, and you feel like you've had a coffee you, you drink a Costa's latte and it's like, like I say it's literally like drinking a hot cup of milk or something do you know what I mean uh, half the time I mean sometimes you look in it tastes a little bit stronger but, uh, but this you have this and you feel like you've had a coffee do you know what I mean so yeah because <laughs> I need to wake myself up a little bit because like I say I am super super tired right now uh, and then obviously I've got a ton of editing to do yet do you know what I mean so it's like when I get in I'm gonna have to start editing I have no idea how much footage I've got how many videos I've actually got uh, I have no idea right now uh, so yeah okay so at some point obviously I'm gonna put this lot together um, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know how many videos I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to try uh, not to get uh, too many um, videos together so that it's too long because uh, it's just in terms of uploading time. Uh, it's taking two to three hours almost to upload a 30 minute vo video or something. Do you know what I mean? And especially depending on how much editing I actually do to it, the more editing I do to it, the longer it seems to take. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put one or two videos together depending on the length of those videos uh, and so there might be at least, uh, I'm going to suggest at least four, maybe even five videos out of all of this today. Uh, so that's probably going to spread over the next two or three days right up until Monday again like it did last weekend. Uh, and then of course I've got the live stream on Monday evening so you know, right, okay, so it's a bit noisy in here and what have you sort of thing, so, but, uh, yeah, so I'm downstairs, actually, uh, in the prep, uh, in Brixton, uh, so, right, I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to catch you guys later, bye for now. Okay, folks, so we're safely home, this is probably going to be the last vlog today, uh, but I just wanted to show you my new shoes, uh, so, yeah, these are my new shoes. These are uh, Carry More, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure how you pronounce that actually. Is it Carry? Carry More. Carry More? Anyway, uh, anyway, yeah, they're, they're really good. They last forever. They really do. They're good quality shoes, man, and they're reasonable price. I say 30 quid. You can't go wrong with that. Do you know what I mean? And I desperately needed them because all my other shoes. Uh, they are all got holes in them uh, every single one lets in water so when it starts to rain I mean they're the ones I used to use, use when I was decorating Joanne's uh, hallway and stuff for her these ones have just got holes in them I've, I was wearing them for a little while because I had nothing else to wear and as you can see they're worn right the way through there's, there's holes in that somewhere uh, that definitely lets water in and so does this one uh, this shoe here is just splitting it somewhere I know there is um, but these are the same make, this carry more thing, but I've had them for years, do you know what I mean? And I've bought carry more for years and years. These are just some generic, oh no, actually these are carry more as well, sorry, I forgot. But these were running shoes, uh, and I painted them black, because I didn't, you know, eventually I got, I, initially when I bought them, they were bright blue, and I liked them initially, but then over the last couple of years when I wore them here and there, and I thought, like, they just stand out too much, they look a bit silly, especially with black trousers. Um, or black jeans so uh, I painted them black and uh, yeah well I don't know if it worked all that well but anyway but these at least these don't leak but these more of sort of like running shoe uh, so anyway but I desperately needed a new pair of shoes um, you see look these ones down here these ones are just some these are the ones that are just a generic brand I mean look at the state of that one look at the hole in that do you know what I mean so, like, the thing is with me as well, is I'm a bit of a hoarder. I hate throwing stuff away. Um, I really do. Um, you know, so I've got, I've got tons of flipping shoes, but they all leak. Um, it's because I don't throw them away. That's the thing. Uh, and I keep wearing them, wearing them, wearing them. But anyway, I decided I wanted to get myself a new pair of shoes. Um, I thought I'd treat myself to a new pair of shoes. So, um, like I say, 30 quid. You can't go wrong. Um, yeah, and like I said, they're a good solid shoe, they're heavy, so you can feel the quality in them, do you know what I mean, and that's a solid sole on there, do you know what I mean, it's not uh, 
or something. It's, it, they're really good. They'll, they'll last me at least two years, easily two years, easily. You know, I mean, they might start to look dirty and a bit worn and all the rest of it, but those soles will definitely last. Uh, and also, bonus with those ones, they're waterproof. They're actually waterproof. The tops, even though they look like material or whatever, um, they're actually waterproof, uh, which is another reason why I bought them. Uh, because, like I said, they you know they're, they're waterproof, and I'm thinking like flipping out. That'll that's handy. Right. Okay. So. I had my coffee, I've had a fag, uh, I am absolutely exhausted uh, and I'm going to start editing soon. It's now quarter past three in the afternoon on a Saturday. Uh, let's see how we get on in terms of um, how far into the editing process and the vlogs I can get uh, and see what I can get out there and get on uh, and uploaded uh, for you guys to see. There's so much stuff today guys there's more stuff than there was I think the last weekend or whatever um, and there's some interesting little stuff that you're gonna I think you're gonna like because um, I was all round sort of Wembley like I said I've done the Wembley and anyway you, you guys are gonna see them anyway so uh, so there's not much point in me explaining in this vlog because by the time you watch this vlog um, you know you will have seen virtually all of them anyway because this will be the last vlog of this day so this will be the last vlog edited uh, so I'm not going to edit this until obviously I've done all the others so I'm going to start from the beginning work my way through chronologically essentially um, so uh, yeah so in a, in a way this is like you've seen this in the past uh, kind of I think um, Anyway, if that even hurt my head then. Right, okay. Well, I, I, I really need to try and get some sleep at some point as well because I'm super, super tired. Um, but I've had a fantastic day. A uh, ton of material. Uh, so, okay. Uh, and uh, from my lovely, beautiful, beautiful pussycat who's cleaning himself right now. Um, oh, I love my spotty. He is such a beautiful pussycat. So, okay, I'm going to leave it there, folks, and I shall catch you guys later. Bye for now.